Hey there, everyone. I uh, wanted to talk about uh, the first coaching call that I had with Dane Miller from Start Here FM. And this, uh, I, I've, I've, this I've had my second coaching call with him today. So this is like an sort of out of date video. But the what I what happened was I recorded my response and then my phone deleted it. So now I'm doing it over again. So I'm going to go and like bring up my notes here and talk about some of the things we talked about. But first, I'll just try to remember some of the things we talked about. So like one of the things, what did we talk about on the first call? So on the first call, we were talking about like all these different goals that I have. And like, all, every, like a lot of people, we have like lots of things that we want to do. But what we have to do instead of trying to do everything at once, um, Dane always talks about this book called The One Thing. And in this book, um, the guy, the author talks about um, when you're trying, like he's, he, he says, you know, like, oh, you want to like, you want to do this, you want to do that, you want to go to the gym, you want to like have a balanced life, you want to um, focus on all these, these different stuff. But like, you, I think he, somebody brings up the example, of like Mozart didn't become a master by by having a balanced life like you become an expert at something by like putting all of your focus into it or at least like uh, like you know i don't know like all the focus that you have time for needs to go into at least like one thing at a time is what i'm getting the idea of here like so you know maybe you can like have one thing that you focus on for like a few months and then you switch over and then like start focusing on something else once you built that thing up enough to to be like at a level where you're where you're happy with it at least for now so i mean like what that means is like um if you like like so the way dane was saying he said visualize it as like a points on a piece of paper so you have all these points and what you do is you have like the most important point in the in the center, which was for me was like doing WordPress and coding and stuff. So like th this is the center point where you're starting and that's that's going to be like your what you're what you're like what you're starting out with. From there, that's your main your main goal. Once you have that settled and, and ready and like it's 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 in place, you know, like for me, like um, you know, coding is going well, like, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm having like stable income from it and stuff like that. I would consider that to be relatively stable. And it was, so once he's what he says, like now, instead of like jumping back and forth from point to point, like um, what most of us do when we're trying to achieve it, like all these goals we have at once, we're like doing this and then we're doing that. We're like doing three different things in a day. We only have like a few hours free time, like, um, you know, after we do our day job, there's only like not that there's not much time left over for us to like work on the things that we want to work on. So in order to be able to actually get somewhere doing what we're, you know, like even just if we work on two things instead of one, we're dividing in 50% by like one, you know, we, we could have had like double as much focus on one thing in, instead of doing two. So like, and then if we're splitting that like five ways or something, all you're, you're getting a very small amount of like output on, on whatever thing you're trying to focus on. So the idea is then so to um, so you have the thing in the middle, like the coding. And I guess like the idea I'm getting from Dane is that you have each one of your other goals is like a concentric circle that builds on top of the next one. So like if you have your coding in the middle and then the next thing is like you want to, you know, work on your YouTube channel. So, I mean, you know, like maybe like like let's pretend the next concentric circle should be youtubes and then like if i spend three months working on only that in all my free time then like i can grow like my content and my skills as far as like doing videos to a point where it's going to be like better and like you know it's going to be far better than um spreading it out over lots of different goals so that way like you can focus you can like build that next concentric circle and then like once you have that improved then you can go on to the next thing and, and improve the next thing you know so like since you're only fo you know, it's massively inefficient to be you know i know this because i do this like so much it's like massively inefficient to be switching from work i know this from to switch back and forth between 
two different ta like when I do like a program, I'm working on a programming project, I have all this momentum, like working on the project. And then I go ahead and like something, something comes up and I have to like attend to a different thing because either there's like a, like a sort of like a more urgent thing that needs to be done. But like, um, what I do now is I try to, I'll put that off for as long as I, as possible, or I will like until the next day perhaps. And then like, I'll do that like in the morning instead, like, um, start with the small urgent project that needs to be done because like once, if I'm like in the middle of doing something like a big project that I'm working on and I just switch over, like it takes all this time to like get your, just to, just to get your headspace back in the right, like, you know, just to get your headspace back in the first project takes me like, you know, it could take me like 30 minutes or an hour, or who knows how long it takes to be able to get that level of momentum back. Like, it's like you have to reset all the structure in your brain to, to get yourself thinking in that right way again, like to, to get yourself just like back on the, it's not you just snap your fingers and you get back on track. You have to like, sit there and like stare at the screen for 30 minutes or an hour to be able to like get the fuck back where you were where you were going so what i'm trying to say is that was one of the goals that we were talking about i mean that's one of the processes we were talking about it's like all the points on the map that was one of the things from the first coaching call so the next, um, I'm going to go look at the notes here now and see if I can find what else we were talking about. We were talking about, uh, yeah. Okay. So another thing he was talking about is like recording, like all your, um, progress so like recording your what you do every day like what time you do things how long you do things for like even small things like he says like billionaires and successful people like record everything they do so um like you record how long you worked on something you do the same things at the same time and that way you can consistently track your progress and it's not sporadic and it's not chaotic and you can like be doing what you you'll know like what you, where what's direction you're going in and as opposed to like not doing that and not being able to know like what like when you make a change in your life you're not going to know what the result is so like what he called this was um he, he said he made a formula out of it. he says now times action equals goal and so he said n times a equals g so like the now is like your lifestyle the a is the actions like for me it would be coding and then like the goal is you know yeah the goal end result so like what he said was like you know you change something in your lifestyle you only want to change like one of the variables at a time because if you change both or more than one you you're not going to know what effect that thing had and then your mind is not going to be able to discern like that this was a positive change to make and you're not going to want to follow through with it as much or even at all or you won't be able to even see that it had any result so that is like another kind of mental model that uh, Dane was Dane was talking about that the n times a equals g so basically like you know tracking everything and also just making sure when you're making a change only change one thing at a time you know so you can so you know like what's going on um and um i think uh that might have been the main things uh there was one other thing Dane and like a lot of people that I listen to just talk I always talk about like do things so simply when you're trying like to improve yourself or start a new whatever like you're trying to get better at stuff um, or you're trying to achieve any goal the, the the best thing to do is just like to do things as 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 simply as possible like instead like he, Dane was saying like oh I have an excel sheet I track all the, all of my activities and, and he was like but don't make an excel sheet like start simple like make a piece of paper and just like write the things down instead because you don't want to like overwhelm yourself you want to be telling yourself like I'm going to do this and then be actually doing it so you don't want to tell yourself I'm going to make the sheet and then like be giving up on it in a week you want to just like start with something that's so ridiculously easy that you will do it 
and then that way you can build on top of that. It's kind of the same idea as like having that one circle in the middle and then building on top every time. Like you don't start, um, you don't like you don't build a building before you have the foundation. You start, you know, you start with a pen and paper before you before you work your way up to like the advanced technologies or like to the advanced other ways to 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 do stuff. So that's uh, basically all that um i that was the main things that we talked about and that was uh just me reviewing those so hopefully this time my mac doesn't delete the video and um uh if you guys got some value out of this i'm happy for that and thank you for watching and uh, i'll talk to you next time all right uh, bye